here's the deal for today's video. I rented this unit out because I wanted to uh, make some videos of selling stuff to people. There's a lot of stuff in there people want. I rented this one out to do videos to get rid of stuff and I just started filling it right back up. <laughs> and if I keep going, this whole thing's gonna be filled up like the other two. Um, the only thing in here that's not gonna go to the scrap yard is the bicycle, the little boat back there, and uh, the little surfboard deal. Pet cage back there. The rest of it's gonna be free tail swag and scrap yard stuff for the most part. Actually, a lot of that stuff has been sold. Uh, if you ever want to buy stuff straight out of my videos, the directions are down in the description. I just got a hold of a leaky ink tank. It's a good way to start out a video. But uh, like uh, those DVDs and PlayStation, that video game stuff, a lot of that's been sold. But uh, other than that, I'm keeping the bike, so don't send me any money for that. And these little stage lights, I'm holding on to those for myself as well. So I'm gonna pile a bunch of this wire in here, but you see everything I'm gonna take in for the most part. Let me know in the comments. This I wanna this is kind of a neat little deal. Let me know how much you think this is all gonna be worth. I'm gonna take every bit of the scrap metal into the yard in this video. So uh some nice wire, some nice extruded aluminum back there, some sink and brass faucet and some of these electrical boxes, and nice aluminum lamps with some big transformers. And let me know what you think it's gonna be worth. And then do that right now, comment at the start of the video and don't delete it. And at the end of the video, I'll show how much everything's worth. I'd be interested in seeing, seeing what your guesses might be. Get a feel for what people think the scrap metal is all worth so if you don't mind just comment at the beginning of the video before you see the final result but i'm gonna get the stuff out of here here's load one so if i recognize some of this from recent videos aluminum box radiator some of this some of that Scrapyard action. We're running close to closing time, so I'm just gonna pull up to the scale here. Free tail star tip jar action. Appreciate that. Oh boy. I'm gonna have to do another free tail video pretty quick. What do you think about that? Load two, I'm gonna get rid of some of this aluminum. And some of this other stuff. The motor. A little skivel scavel. Got some of this nice clean extruded aluminum, aluminum piled up right here. I'll get 25 cents to, 30, to 35 cents a pound for this. The bigger the load, the better the price they'll give for this stuff. Um, if I bring in like 100 pounds of this, I should be able to get 35 cents a pound. If I bring in just a little bit, It'd be probably 25 cents. This is the good stuff though. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. Well, that one piece right there is sheet. Of course, as soon as I say that, I grab a piece of sheet aluminum. But... This is gonna be cast aluminum. This scrap yard I'm going to gives the same price for all aluminum, with the exception of this high quality extruded. Let's 
Should be a nice little, nice little load here. Gotta be careful with this rig. Balance is very important with this. I'm gonna have a couple pieces of breakage in here, but uh, probably, well, I don't know. Let's see how it goes. This scrapyard, scrapyards are really different. Um, if you're new to this, they can be super different. Like if I have a piece that's extruded, like this right here, and it's got some little bit of little bit of steel in it. They'll go clean aluminum on that, which is not a bad price. But uh, quite a bit of that weight is steel, so it's not really. It doesn't really cost me a whole lot, you know. If there's a pound or two of steel on there, the steel would be five cents a pound. But I'm gonna get 20 cents a pound for the steel that's on there. So I mean, unless you're dealing with big numbers, that stuff isn't real important. Unless, of course, you uh, say at home dealing with COVID-19, uh, not curfew, but lockdowns and what have you. If you don't have a job, of course. This would be a good time to set you up a little, a little assembly line. There's a big piece of steel on that one. Huh? Might be the time where you want to start cleaning that kind of stuff up. Um, this is a different day. Both both days it's almost four o'clock or so. So I'm not going to take any of this. I don't, really don't got time to uh, clean it up. Hey, that's a, I do believe that's a video game card. Have a look at that one day. <laughs> one day in the near future, I'll get this stuff out of here. I wanted to get rid of this guy a second time. He's gonna have to stay here. This is that grill I found a while back. There was a wood handle on here. Uh, this thing, the good thing about cast aluminum is uh you can just give it some really good wax it'll just shatter like i showed when i took this grill off see that That's everywhere there was a bolt there's now a hole just by hitting it hard save you some time dealing with all these little frozen bolts they're just gonna be a bear cat so you can sit there and wrestle with bolts for half hour or just <laughs> get done with the job right away. I should have shown that on camera, huh? Anyways, cast aluminum, shatters. So does uh, cast iron, like cast iron bathtubs and cast iron sinks. Um, the best way to do it is if you can pick them up. Just pick them up and just drop them on concrete. Don't do it real hard because sometimes that steel, steel shiver, shiver, sliver, splinter off of there. High speeds. So you might want to be careful if you're hitting it with something. But uh, like if you had like a hundred pound cast iron sink, you could pick it up and just drop it over and over, and eventually it'll crack, crack in half, crack in multiple pieces. Lots of little tricks I've learned that I would have never came across, most likely, if I wasn't wasn't a little little ant. <laughs> if I wasn't doing this ant style. What I like about these totes is it's got these little reinforcement bars every two and a half inches or so. See how it's cracked right there? That'd be bad. But I can put it on there side of bar and I'll secure. Actually, I might go two bars with you. <laughs> Now that I talk about it, but uh, nice, get that secured in there. There we go, we're ready to roll down the highway now, what do you think? What kind of time are we dealing with? Oh boy, I have 10 minutes to spare when I get to the yard. If there's only one thing the GoPro does well, it's this right here. 
the puffy clouds. gonna go up to the scale today I got everything ready to go lots of times I'll spread it out for those that haven't seen it before but I just mainly got aluminum and some some other pieces of garbage <laughs> hey look at that got some scooter competition hey can I pull out can I pull out Oh, I just got snapped in the arm. My bungee cord snapped me in the back of my arm. I just wanted to show my competition real quick. Get you, get you a big, big get you a big uh, toad on the back like that. What do you think? What's your name? What's your name? It's mainly just going to be the saloon, huh? Once we get the buzzy cord. That was the first time that we are actually up. You can't shut off your camera when you're here. I, I don't know if you're okay with it or not. No, just, cool. just the top one. Just the top one. Okay. It'd probably be better just to... Oh, that's heavy. Yeah, it's heavy dude. What's in the bottom of that? It's mainly just the little one, huh? There's some little bits of skibble scabble and stuff here. in there. Here, let me put the camera down, but I don't worry. got it. Hey, you mind if I go through the lot? Mount aluminum. Man, that's that same trailer they've had here the whole time. Look at that boat still there. They must they must just be using that for storage. There's no way they're gonna run that down the road. This is no way. projects all in different little areas looks like tearing, tearing apart air conditioners right there there's some scuzzy old cardboard it's been sitting here for years I think back when I used to buy it systems down so have a look at the stuff they they bring the cream of the crop in here and sell it I think that's an old car engine diagnostic dealy I think about that I don't think that works with computer chips though little brass section Oh boy. 
Oh, it's like 40, 50 pounds, bro. 30 pounds, I guess. Load three. It's gonna look something like this. Alrighty, next load, fourth load. I'm gonna clean this up. I need to cut all the ends and stuff off. I won't make you sit through that. I know how fun that would be to watch. Just gonna go through like so, cutting all the plugs off, and clean the wire up. Some scrap yards where you live might not make you do that. This is something you wouldn't want to do if you don't have to i don't have to do this i could send this all in right now or i could take this to the scrapyard as is and they would give me a low grade wire for it which i think would be like 20 cents 25 cents maybe their wire price has been changing a lot lately last time i took wire in i got 65 cents a pound for it so that was pretty good big difference you know cut the plugs off like this cat five we're at this yard i'm going to they don't need the ends cut off there some decent gold plate in there but uh two times more money just cutting the plugs off i saw a question i see the question often what i do with these plug ends i just throw them in with my tin no scrap yard around here wants them Alrighty, what I've got here, I'm just gonna throw this communications wire in with the number two insulated copper wire. That's not really enough to weigh. Got some uh, low grade junk wire. I'm put it here on top, taking a little bit of aluminum. And uh, gotta get down the road. And I got one pound of copper, number one copper wire down there. Here's a story with this bungee cord real quick. That's how I got these on here. Um, I used to have this tote on here the other way around. So it's got a weakness leaning this way. So because of heavy stuff, after a while the tote was starting to wear. And uh, so I flipped it around. So it's exactly what I want now. It leans forward a little bit. And then when I got a load like this, I'll fasten this bungee cord on this side so it's leaning it's against my back it's pushing against my back and it's nice and strong going the other way hasn't hasn't loosened up at all yet so uh i need to get to my gas tank which is under the seat so i have to have a uh, removable situation with that but uh, i know you've seen me snap my arm <laughs> this came off and snapped me in the back of the arm might be wondering what that was sometimes i'll have it here sometimes i'll have it back here 
Sometimes I'll have it over here. It's just kind of an adjuster. I'm sure I got the comment, or someone out there was probably wondering what the deal is with that dude. See, when I show up and I have everything ready to go, I'm liable to sit in line for 10 minutes, you know? People, sometimes I'll get to comment. When I go over here and spread stuff out and put it in buckets and stuff and show it to people, I get lots of comments saying, why aren't you just ready to go and you get there? But it's really, I mean, you'd be surprised how long you might wait in line at a scrapyard. So it's not that big of a deal. Of course, some scrapyards, I don't want to give out bad information. And most scrapyards won't let you, won't want you to come here unprepared. But uh, anyways. I showed this in a video when I found it. This is a brass burner out of this grill. You usually don't find the brass, particularly in a cheaper looking grill, but uh, this is only the second one of these I've ever found. And it's deceivingly heavy. Listen to this. Chunk. But uh, lots of times the burners will be in real bad shape. See how that's yellow? And uh, if you see one that's not rusting out and stuff, you want to hit it with a magnet. I suppose you want to hit them all with a magnet, but uh, it's nice. It's like seven pounds. Chunkola. Almost there. A couple more loads. Alrighty. This was not in here when I started the video. I just dumped this little load in here. So I'm not going to come up that. I've got these electrical boxes with some nice circuit boards in them. Real nice uh, e waste boards in there. That's a gold plate. And uh, boxes. I made out of tin on both of these. This one doesn't have as many. So I just have to throw in a few dollars for all that. I'm not sure what the price is on the board store for those, but that could be, uh, uh, what am I looking at there? Maybe 10 to $15. To be safe, we'll just say $10 on that. It's a nice high quality e-waste in there boards um what i have left is uh that's keepers that's those cases are going to the retail store or i might sell them online same with these two keeper 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 this i just want to get this video published i wasn't able to get this load off and uh this is saturday now so i want to get this video out and uh, this is one more load. It'll be, let's see if we can get an estimate on this. That's good stuff. Uh, let's see, two, four, five dollars on that. Six dollars maybe. Um, 
this is gonna be maybe yeah, four, then maybe ten dollars. And now this one. Maybe fourteen dollars or so. It's not exact, but and, uh, six. That's like twenty dollars. We'll just call that a twenty dollar bill. And we'll call this a ten dollar bill. So let's say thirty dollars. The Phantom load, the last load, thirty dollars. Everything else in here is going to be keeper. Or cellar but uh, this is gonna be my cell room I'm gonna get this place put together and uh, a lot of this has been sold this is going out to a fella named Brandon I hope I pronounced your, your name right I think it's Brandon looks like and the emails nickname is Dewey maybe so. the last four letters are D-U-I-N I think it's doing Sorry if I mispronounced that. Shout out to that fella. He, uh, let me get this guy's head out of there. <laughs> he bought a lot of this stuff you're looking at here. And, uh, whoops, I have a microwave. Um, this doesn't count. This wasn't in here either. Microwave, we'll just still say 30. We'll just throw the microwave in for instance. In case that's too long. And, uh, well, Actually, I'm going to sell those laptops, too, so those don't count. This is just going to be scrap metal, so I'll stick to that. Plus $30. While I'm down here, snatch up this book. Sold this on Amazon. It's like $30 plus shipping. I think $32. little gourmet culture of France. A little flurry of book selling here. About to start up a school. It's coming. Or already happening piece of advice if you get into selling books do not put them in totes in the far back corner of your storage <laughs> my advice is I started doing this with all the books I find now I'm stacking them in my bedroom and uh, they don't necessarily have to be alphabetical order unless you have like thousands of them but you want to have you want to just have them in clean clear sight so you can just look at the, at the uh, binding and see what it is <laughs> do it right to start you don't have to mess around get this place cleaned up a little did you want to make an appearance you did you do want to oh here she comes here she comes hi everybody Hi everybody, it's good to see you. I'm a little camera shy. I don't like the camera right in my face really, you know. I'm kind of camera shy and stuff. But it's really nice to see you. And I uh, hope y'all have a good day and all that. Have a good night. Whenever this is published, just have a good time. Goodbye everybody. I sure hope you enjoyed this little, this little show. And as always, thanks for watching. How'd you get to be such a good pooch? You just born that way. I was just born to be a good pooch. I'm your trusty pooch. Lots of pieces of glass in here.